Hello, I am Brandon Carey, and today we are coming at you with more Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, today, we're going to be running a, um, a deck that I have been testing a little before the stream to see how well it did, and I actually, I like it a lot. Um, it is a Teamer Elemental deck, uh, since... Uh, I had most of the cards needed to make this deck work, and it's only going to be around for a little bit since they're about to rotate in Arena, like a lot of these um, Ravnica cards, a lot of these M20 cards are all set to rotate, which and they form like the backbone of the ramp package of the deck. Um, I kind of want to at least give this deck a try because I've been ta I've been hearing a lot of people talk about it and it seemed really interesting. Um, basically, the goal is to use stuff like Uro and Risen Reef and Cultivate and Arboreal Grazer and all of that to ramp up extremely quickly to cast our, our big bomb spells, which are Genesis Ultimatum here, which lets us pull from the top five cards of the library and put any number of permanent cards among them amongst the battlefield. Um, and because we have so few non-permanents, it's unlikely that we are AR to miss um, with that. And of course, since we're playing a ramp package, um, Ugin is pro is essentially our win con of the, of the deck. Where once we drop him, uh, we will essentially just clear the board. And then at that point, just start pinging our opponent for three every turn until they die. Because so many things here have very powerful ETB effects, um, we have Yorai as a companion because mostly because we can, but he's not really. I haven't really like. I've only used him once in my testing for this deck. Um, again, I got this off MTG Goldfish. I get most of the decks I run in this stream off there, except for the ones I've I've taken from Dev and SBMTG. Um, I've always marked that when it happens. Um, but. I've been testing this out and I've I've been really happy with it. So let's keep let's keep uh, let's keep playing it. It's it's been interesting playing this game after the rotation hit. Having two rows is not a bad thing. Um, so we will. Uh, I am seeing more decks than I used to. I'm seeing a lot of uh, Mono Red starting to make a comeback, and I don't particularly care for playing against the Mono Red decks, but it's been, it hasn't been bad. This is probably a ramp deck to, or this is either going to be ramp or control. We're going to see what's what in a second, because if we play a counter spell, we're playing against a, probably a Sultai control deck. Oh! No response. I guess they would more rather um, counter whatever we're going to cast with this extra land than with than the um, actual Okay, this is a flash deck. Okay, now I see what they're doing. This is the flash deck. Which means they are going to run a lot of counter spells. Land always helps. And that keeps us open enough to play. Uh, 
Now the question is... You kind of have to... I'm going to set you back and see if I can set you back a little bit. Oh! And that does... that. Okay, that doesn't leave you enough for... It leaves you enough for a quench. But not... Should be able to pay blue, blue, green, green, and oh, five other cards. That's why. Guys had to wear them down to see if I can um, force them to play a quench. They can probably play a... Uh, I think I might be boned. Because they can probably play just a straight up a counter spell next turn. This is kind of like make or break. This either has to resolve or it won't. And if they have a, a, a if they have a quench, I'm good. If they don't, if they have um the frilled mystic, I'm screwed. Or a mystical dispute. Yeah, uh, that's it. That's game. I hate flash decks, except when I'm playing them, of course, and I love them. Still worth a Teferi being gone from standard. And fortunately, um, once rotation happens, Flash will lose pretty much everything in its arsenal that's worth caring about. Brian Bourne Cutthroat, Frilled Mystic, um, the, uh, the Night Pack Ambusher loses everything in the rotation. Uh, this, is, uh, this is probably... Also going to be a team elemental deck. So let's see how this goes. Oh, this is a Azorius control deck. Huh. I don't have a reason for this, uh, but this is going to be interesting.
I don't need that. I need a win condition. They only have two lands on board and I have six. Jesus Christ. What's your three drop gonna be? Brazen Borrower? Omen of the Sun. Oh, this is uh, Azorius Blink. Well, let's refill our hand. Let's tap out to uh, you didn't land any of our big bombs, sadly. This is where you would probably play a board wipe. I know I would if I were them. Assuming they have a land drop, which they might not. They might even crack that omen. I don't know. Oh, Narset. Narset, Narset, Narset. That stifles me, but only for a time. Oh, I have three elementals. That just kills Narset out outright. Yeah, you're gonna block that. This is where you'd wipe the board if you have a land drop, which you probably should have one by now. If you're not drawing them, I feel bad. Oh, you're not drawing any land! That sucks! Ooh! Ooh, that's bad! To try to cast Orion for the blink trigger. And that should be lethal. Yeah. There's only one valid target. They had coin flips in M21? Huh. Weird. I feel bad for that guy, because that guy just wasn't getting the lands they needed to, uh, to win the game. Like, they probably would have had all of her name if they were managed to curve out and get a board clear going. Like, the problem was they, they could never, um, empty the board. And this is a mulligan, because I only have two lands. Uh, this is a much better hand. Uh, does kind of suck, though. Um... Uh... One of no, I don't want to keep the I want to keep the crisis, so I'm gonna pitch one of these lands. I have three. That should be enough to get me started. Mulligan down to five. Damn. But if you're a mono red deck, that's fine. That's fact. That's probably for the bet. Oh, this is Rakdos. Okay. This is Winota, isn't it?
What is this? Color me interested. Take action. Okay. Fuck off. Fuck off with that shit. Oh, I see no reason to... This is really loud music. <laughs> I'm going to take it. One, two, three, four, five. How about I get in my face? I imagine they're going to sacrifice some of these Whisper Squads. What they're probably going to do is they're going to uh, have Man Devil attack, and then in response, sack the Whisper Squads. Yeah, that's what I would do. What? You could have played Kroxa. Hmm. I see he might not have seen what I saw on his board. I don't know if I would have won in the game, but it would have certainly been a very strong play. In fact, it might have won in the game if he had done it, because I didn't have a response. Maybe he thought I had a Genesis made of on in my hand, which, you know, plausible. We'll keep this. We've got a lot of early game ramp. Karuga the Macro Sage means we're probably not going to see anything for at least, uh, till turn three. That lets us very, very safely accelerate. Yeah. You're gonna have to probably play something, because I imagine most decks are at least gonna be three drops, right? What you gonna do? Cultivate. Get more land. I like that art for cultivate. Five color. Five color. Hmm. Five color Karuga the Macro Sage. 
I am intrigued. This is some gimmick deck. That is an expected play of a deck of this type. What are you doing? Okay. Fine then. I was untapped anyway. Now I'm curious. What is your game plan? You are accelerating for, uh, whatever it is, it's something big. And in white. What are you doing? Oh, I mean, well, we have to cast it. Holy shit, this deck feels good. Holy shit, this deck feels good. Getting a ton of land. Okay to face. Like, if you're going to flash something out, you're going to do it, so go ahead and do it. Did all 
Let's get rid of some of these lands in my graveyard that I can't really reuse. If I draw an Ugin, that would be great. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Wow. Come on, give me a fucking Ugin. There's four of them in the deck. There we go. Play your fucking counterspell. There's four of these in the deck, so you can't run you're gonna run out of counters eventually. What even is this fucking deck? Damn. Running out of cards. Oh, I fucked up.
come on. I have had so many lands. Now I can see everything you're doing. Yeah, I don't I don't really care. I don't really care. At all. I wonder if I'll actually be able to finish this one off or not. I'm in danger of milling myself at this point, so I have to... Yeah, go ahead.
I think I might actually be able to eat this one out, assuming that he can't gain a single point of life next until, uh... I think I might be able to, to hold out on this one. Depends what the last- OH MY GOD! No, I'm gonna auto-pay. And that is game. It's a lot of voice lines, Ugin. You don't need to have them all. Cannot believe we ended up winning that one. Jesus Christ. That that could that was close. I was down to like two cards left in the deck. Good old Eugene. Good lord, man. Good old Eugene. The spirit dergy. This is not a bad starting hand. We got a lot of ways to ramp. Let's start with turn one ramp. Which lets us hopefully get more. Well, I'll just take the win con because that'll be nice to have once we have the, the once we've managed to ramp. And we're actually going to turn to Euro. Oh, bummer. Eh, I'll block. Whatever. Like, actually, whatever, though. I would like to get some lands! Jesus Christ! Are you kidding me now? What is- what's going on, game? Oh my god, if he- he took- okay, that's not the worst thing he could take. He's not gonna get the seven mana. Not as fast as I am. Although he might if he fucking... Well, that was our second win con. Yeah, I'm not gonna block. Might as well swing for one. Probably gonna play Tobrin. Kinda. I kinda need to. Oh, I don't want to, but I really should. Bummer. Um, yeah, we'll keep that on top so we can cast this ultimatum next turn. It's not over yet, although it's definitely feeling like it could be.
I'm gonna put forest on top. Now, if we manage to get Ugin with our Genesis Ultimatum, then we win. Ugh. I can block... I don't think I can block enough to win, though. Yeah, I can't win. That sucks. Yeah, I think even if I... Yeah, I think... Yeah, that's, this is lethal. It's exactly enough. Shit. I was really open for that U U Ugin. You know... I would have felt that would have been like a stroke of badassery if I had managed to land the Ugin on that. That would have been amazing. Eh, could be worse, could be better. Let's keep it. Mm. Mono Red is really, like, it's a, it's a deck that will always be around and it has to be. I just hate it. That's a good turn to play, another Skyland. Okay, this is Mono Green Stumpy. She's still a slow car, a slow deck, but not terribly slow. Oh, Gruel Stumpy. Oh, you don't want me to. You don't want me to play my Uros, my Uwus. That's not going to be much help right now. Although, I will be able to Omnath to kill the uh, Scavenging Ooze next turn. Oh, fuck off! Here's what we're going to do. Oh, I made a mistake. I got another one in the hand anyway. What the f it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually fucking matter. What can you do in response? You have no mana. What does Kuno care? Man, I'm sure getting tired of being stepped on. Might 
as well at least put a chumper out. And hope that I can get an ultimatum next turn. Make a move, dude. I hate aggressive decks. Just want to play my big spells with lots of mana. I think there's lightning coming outside, but I haven't actually heard any thunder. Dude, you're in the middle of winning. Why are you going AFK? Yeah, I'm gonna block. Oh my god. Uh, well, actually, hold on. I still don't have the ultimatum I need, but it'll keep me alive for one more turn unless they pump their pulp collector up a little bit more. Play your combat trick. And concede. I am so tired of the Eldrain of Eldrain. I'm tired of Ember Cleave. I'm tired of, of Fervent Champion. I'm tired of uh That that was a bad set. That was really when Santa went downhill, to be honest. Like the Ravnica blocks were fine. Even War of the Spark was ultimately just kind of fine. Like, Eldrain is where things start to really, really, really impact Standard. Like, you see, you even see, it, like, even after, like, um, Theros and Ikoria, like, to this day, most of the, like, the really powerful cards in Standard come from the Ikoria block. And this might not be really worth molding. I do have three lands, but they're slow lands, and, um,. I don't have anything I can play realistically until turn four. And I just you can't just go turn go four turns without playing anything. Um, we'll throw this Aether Gust aside because I'm not sure what color you're using. What colors you're using. Um, so at least we can turn one and play a land. Now we can turn to Cultivate. Okay. This might be a cycling... No, this wouldn't be a cycling deck. Cycling decks wouldn't run opt. Jeskai Control? Maybe with, um... Maybe using... Maybe using the, uh, the new... The new Narset. Not getting a land drop? Yeah, this might be a Jeskai control package. Well, now you see my ultimatum in my Ugin. Yeah, this is definitely that Jeskai deck. Yeah, 
Yeah, we will, we will pay for to get the Orion trigger out. And swing in for five. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, that, that's enough for Ugin. So if you play Narset, I think I might be set. Interesting. Actually, these red or green. I'll keep that there. And. Wait, I couldn't tack? Why didn't I- why didn't I have a combat step? What? You getting a banishing light? Sorceress Spyglass! That we can we already have one. And we will Aether Gust this whirlwind of thought. Now you're gonna board clear, or you're gonna die. What's the choice? There you go. My god, that is the worst. That's the worst. Fucking wow. Okay, there's your win con. Are you fucking for real?
Well, you're gonna shower the sky or you're gonna lose. Why didn't you play them in the reverse order? My creations are kings of beauty. Do you have a one drop? All right, so we will give me this cultivate and sure, steam vents. If I can just draw one more Omneth, I win. I can counter whatever stuff they, and if they try to counter, I can deal with that. I just need to be able to, is there enough Omneths left in the deck? Okay, there's only one. Okay, so there is a chance I can win this. It really depends on my entirely upon what I ETB. All right, so let's play this druid. You have a counter spell in hand. That's good to know. Oh, there we go. That's game. Yeah, that's game. Whew, that was close. And uh, apologies for the fact that the, um, the stream cut out in the middle of that. I'm not sure what happened there between... O it must be something between OBS and, uh, and Arena. Um... But, with that said, I think, <laughs> despite crapping out at the very end, I think we're done for the night. Uh, Mastery Tree. Let's pump this up a little bit. And I think, that's as far as we go. Uh, thank you guys for joining me, and hopefully uh, 
I'll have something for you next week, but I might be on call, so I might not. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, until then, take care and have a good evening. Uh, Black Lives Matter. All lives can't matter until Black Lives Matter. Wear your mask, social distance, wash your hands. You know all. You know all that. I'm telling you for about four or five months now. You should. You should know the drill. But until then, take care. Have fun.